Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be providing a detailed information on how to write a test cases for a drop down field. This is also a very important video where you will be required to test a drop down field in any web application or it can be any mobile application. Then this video will be very useful for you because you will be testing everywhere the drop down fields. So let us move on. What are the various different test scenarios which we can write for a drop down field? The first validation you should make here is every drop down should have a label in it. That is the first validation you should make. Then the second one is any drop down certain time it will have a default value. It will have a certain default value. Maybe drop down may have 100 uh, different options but by default it will get selected one value in it. That is the default value. And also you should test what are the different combinations of values available in a drop down. If it is in database, if you have 10 uh, different options, but you are getting in a drop down just only two or three, then you should also validate all different combinations. One is from the UI perspective or from the database perspective, whether the data is getting pulled in the drop down appropriately or not. Then you should also test for there are certain drop downs. There is an option to select multiple uh, values in it. You will also have a checkbox in every item which is listed in the drop down. So there also you should validate all different combination for the checkbox plus the drop down as well. Whichever I selected in the checkbox, those should select it as part of drop down selection, including drop down field plus the content in the drop down, whether it is a left align or a right align, that kind of testing also you should validate it. Then uh, for all the drop down fields which is implemented in your application, just to see it can be accessed across all different combinations of browser, different kinds of operating system just to ensure that this drop down field is behaving as expected across different combinations of browsers and operating systems. There is also another scenario which you should write here is because most of the drop downs were sorted in alphabetical order or certain order. Whenever I selected a particular field, when I click on certain alphabet keys, let's say if I select G, then any word which is starting with the letter G should list down first there. So that kind of sorting should happen. I select Z, then all the data related to Z should display. So that kind of testing scenario also you should write and you should test it just to ensure that it works as expected. Next type of test scenarios are performance related uh, test cases because these drop downs may have hundreds of values. Let's say if we talk about a country name, the countries can have hundreds of countries in this world. Now, whenever this data is getting pulled from the databases, whether it comes very fast or it takes a lot of time, how we are going to test that? That will be getting validated using the performance testing. So you should perform different kinds of combinations of performance testing just to ensure that its response time and throughput is coming as expected as per the requirements. And also you should ensure that all the spelling mistakes, font size, colors, everything you should validate appropriately. Again, those should be aligned with your US guidelines which is defined for your application. Then the next test case which you should write for drop down is all the data which is present in the drop down should be ordered in certain way. It can be ascending order or descending order. Appropriate way it should display. If your recommend says that it should be in ascending, then it should display it in ascending. If it is recommend says that it should be descending, then it should be descending. So you should ensure that it displays in an appropriate way. Next type of test scenario you should write here is minimum and maximum. What is the minimum value this value can take for this drop down? What is the maximum drop down field can take the value for this drop down? So that kind of validations also you should make as part of your testing the drop down field. Next type of testing is you should also validate for a given uh, drop down field is editable or not editable. If it is not editable means you cannot select anything out of this uh, drop down. 
So you should ensure that the given drop down field is editable or not editable. If your requirement says that a drop down field should be editable one, then appropriately you should test with the test scenarios. If it is disabled, then your test cases also should be able to tackle that requirement. Then the next type of test scenario is because the drop downs will be used in your web application or mobile application, you should ensure that these drop downs work seamlessly across different languages, different uh, currency, all different combinations because your drop down values can be Chinese, Japanese, Hindi, Kannada, Tamil, Telugu, any languages in that matter. Your drop down should work seamlessly based on your country, based on your languages, based on the internationalization or localization. Also validate for database validation. As I said earlier, any operation which you do on drop down, after doing the operation in the drop down, when you click on submit or when you are doing certain commit operation, then the data should go and submit into the database. You should ensure whatever the data which you enter in this drop down, same data should go into the database. Then all the different combinations to and fro from database, the uh, all different kinds of testing we should make. Even I, I'm going to change in the database, whether it is getting reflected in the UI or not. The next scenario is, Whatever the operation you perform on, on this drop down, on any cost, any exception should not throw, your server should not crash. You should ensure that by covering whatever the test cases which I have just talked about, all the test cases if you executed for a given field, that would guarantee your drop down field really works as expected. I am hoping you guys got a clear idea. What are the different ways? What are the different things we can test for drop down? If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up for this video. If you guys are not subscribed, then do subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.